Perfect. Hey y'all, hey! Welcome back. Happy Friday. Friend, that gives you every week. I don't know, every time. I can't. I can't. How y'all doing? Welcome back. Happy Friday. Um, not the nice one. Is that who? That's what? No, no you're the nice one here. I'm the not so nice one here. The not so nice one. I'm the controversy on the show. You're the sweet. Olivia Nick Newton John and I'm the gremlin Kodak Black in light skin form. Wow. Well, how are you doing today, ma'am? You know what I'm saying? It's been a long day. I got my boy this weekend. Hey, nephew. He turning 14 this month. Y'all pray for me. I need all the prayer I can get. Ah, nephews, nuts are dropping. I'm going to be crying, you know, I'm going to be boo-hoo-wing, <laughs> baby. Why are you going to be crying? That man got to grow up, that young man. He's supposed to, he's supposed to been seven pounds all his life. You bet, that's why you, that's why Mason, I mean, uh, Hitler, that's why Mason's there, okay? You know I say, listen, that's a grown man in himself that is no longer a baby. He walking. Got a mouthful of teeth, and he's starting to say stuff. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, Hitler. Y'all, come on in the room. Welcome back. Welcome back to another Friday edition of Queens of the Ring. And y'all, uncharacteristically, we have a fight that's going on right now, okay? So I know some of y'all are watching the fight because I am. If y'all see my eyes go that way, it's because I'm looking at TV. And right now, Barboza and Pedraza are having what looks like a pretty good fight. Uh, Pedraza say not yet. Anyway, y'all come on in the room because there has been a lot going on this week. And guess who we're going to talk about? We are. So, hey, Miami Snoopy 305. What's up, Pablo Escobar? Hey, Gun Totem. What's going down, Harvey Johnson? He says, hello, sexy queens of the ring. Let's get it started. Yes, we are. Um, how you doing, Oak Cliff Sensei? Hey, behind the lens TV. Boxing and barbecue. Hey, mommy, how you doing? Um, Supreme Boxing. Supreme Breeze Box. The, 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 Supreme Beast Box. Red, how you doing? Um, hey, boo. Um, how you doing, phenomenal Mexican? Mr. Mon, big wreck. He ain't even saying nothing yet. Golly, it's coming. I have to get my shit off the top because you know it starts real nice. It starts off, hey, how y'all doing? And then it'll be some fuck shit. I'm just, I gotta be first. Okay. What's up, Knockout Kings? How you doing, Jason? Hey, Keisha girl, how are you? Shavoya Z, how are you? Boxing and barbecue, how you doing? What's up, Brandon Calhoun and Ronya? Yeah. Did you say Tab and Formal? I'm not understanding what you're talking about, this sir. Uh, my eyes don't do that. I might be squinting because my lights are bright, but don't you do me like that. Don't you, don't you do me like that. Okay. What's up, Tiana Scott? How are you? Y'all come on in the room. Come on, come on, come on, come on in the room. We got some things to discuss. Um, 
We'll talk about these fights later on that are actually uh, going on right now. But there was some buzz going on in the boxing world, a lot going on and a lot centering around one of my favorite fighters. Um, Friend, there was a press conference this week, okay? Yeah, there was a press conference this week. And you guys, my friend has a PSA. Before we get started, go ahead, friend, with your PSA. Well, my friend was like, I'll do it, but I, you know me, I like to keep it real ratchet and ghetto around here. There's a whole, there's, I ain't gonna say there's a whole lot. There's a few people in here with some blue on their name. And what we are asking is that you not delete anybody because you don't agree with what they're saying. You delete all the bitches and all the weird shit that you see. Do not delete anything pertaining to anyone that has an opinion that's different from yours. Because if you do, that nice little boo rich that you got, I'm going to take it from you. Not my friend. The not nice one. So thank you in advance. Y'all have a great show. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Don't get cussed out. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're going to only delete and time out folks that's disrespectful. Okay, that's it. That's all. We encourage different uh, different opinions in our chat. We we encourage wonderful dialogue, but respectful dialogue. Okay, okay, especially on this subject, because I might get a little out of character. I normally get a little out of character when it comes to David Benavides, because people be coming hard at David, and I don't like that. Okay, I don't like that. But there was a press conference this week and you guys all of y'all in here know david benavidez is fighting kayla plant finally on march 25th okay the press conference was was everything that we hope a good build up to a fight is gonna be okay we had yin and yang we had cool and then we had hot we had all the opposites friend when you saw the press conference what did you take away from it? How did you feel about it? How did it make you feel about the fight coming up? Did it change your mind? Oh, it didn't change my mind, friend. It did. It did not. Oh, it, it did not. Okay. Tell me was, I was, I'm is afraid uh, for that young man, Caleb. I don't know what the fuck. I ain't never seen David like that before. I was like, oh, okay. He coming there with his braids. Let me tell you, somebody lying. Somebody in that boy family is African American. Okay. I know African American hair when I see African American hair. Somebody lying. I don't know who. Somebody is a goddamn lie. Okay. Secondly, I've never seen somebody so angry. Like, I'm afraid for him. But this is what I want for Caleb. And everybody keeps saying, Caleb was cool. He is is chess and this is checkers and David is hot headed. Mm 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 mm. Y'all all in here didn't been in a fight. Everybody didn't been in a fight. You go into a fight like that, you gotta come with the shit behind it. That cool shit ain't gonna get you nowhere because we know a little bit about you. We know your gas tank ain't very well. It's a little, a little ill. It might have a little COVID. The <laughs> gas, thing might the have gas a little COVID. tank might have a little COVID. Hope they have some Pepto-Bismol on deck. Tylenol, Mucinex, something cold and flu. He's going to need it. That gas tank ain't very well. Hopefully him having a new trainer might do something. But I don't think it will. I'm not underestimating Caleb by no means. But we got happy that he beat up Anthony Durrell, who wanted to retire. Who wanted to retire three years ago, but his wife said, no, I own you. Get your ass back in the ring. So I I'm hoping for the best. I really am. I hope Caleb can go in there and windmill as long as he can because everybody keeps talking about, you know, he a mover, his feet, he going to be, uh, okay. He going to get tired of running around that ring. I know y'all say we use that word wrong 
sometimes, but y'all going to get tired of him running and he going to get tired of running. And when he gets tired of running, he's going to end up in that corner like everybody else do on them ropes, like everybody else do. Good luck, Mr. Plant. But I, I agree with David. I know a pussy when I see one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you going to leave on that? That's how you going to leave? Oh, wow. Listen, y'all, look. It was very interesting watching all the channels today give their take on the um the presser. Some people thought, you know, um, Caleb was cool as a cucumber. They felt like, you know, he got under David's skin. They feel like, you know, the trigger for David was him saying, you know, you you tested positive for cocaine, you a fat bitch, you got titties, all of it. That all of those things are like people think or assume that those are trigger words for David Benavidez. And they might be, because he was he was in rare form. I had not seen David that emotional. Like I've seen him go off on people, but I've never seen him get revved up like that. Like this has been a long time coming. It's been a lot of talk going on. He he wants to do some bad things to Caleb Plant. And um, initially when I saw that, I was a little bit concerned. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit worried. Kind of like Caleb had Canelo out of, out of character a little bit, you know? And so I was like, man, I know he's upset. I know he had. I know he's going to do something to him but you can't let that overtake you. And so I'm kind of glad he's getting that out now at these press conference, at the press conference. I don't know how he's going to be at the next one, but I'm glad that he's getting that out of his system now. And actually I was able to see him calm himself during that press conference toward the end. He kind of brought himself back, you know? And um, so that's my only concern. Other than that, he going to beat the dog shit out child's boy. And I like Caleb Plant. Let's not be, let's be clear here. You know, I like Caleb. I was picking Caleb to win against Canelo. Caleb was winning against Canelo until that COVID gas tank, as my friend called is it, that COVID respiratory system of his got a little choked up. Okay. Um, my guy asked for a larger ring so that. You know, he can move around more. I don't know if that's going to benefit him like he thinks it is. I don't know. You know, you got more room to move around, but are you going to get tired faster? And I've never seen David Benavidez get tired. I've only seen him come forward more. So we'll see how that works out. Go ahead, friend. And what does David Benavidez have? To beat him, he got that fucking constant ass pressure. That's what's going to get his ass. Caleb is going to get tired of running. David don't get tired. No. Caleb, yeah. on Go the ahead. other hand, gets tired. A lot. Very often. Uh, we And, you know, I, I go back to the Caleb Truex fight. And I know it right here. He got a broken hand. Hey, plenty of boxes have broken hands and still managed to do a little more than what he did. That was fucking Caleb Truex for all the fucking people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't fight with a broken hand. So real gangsters move in real situations. We just going to see how that's going to turn out for him. I don't want to hear no shit about no hands, no none of that shit. He will not be able to hold up to that pressure. That pressure is going to be weighing the fuck out of him and he's he can't deal with it so listen good luck to both fighters i'm rolling with david benavidez but of course but i think the pressure of david benavidez i think the boxing is underrated from david benavidez um and i just don't i think he wants it more right now than caleb plant and um, we shall see. We shall see. I still need to see what they look like um, on the scale. Caleb Plant seems to be in, sh in shape right now, in fight shape right now. David, of course, y'all know he's a big man. 
and getting down to 168 is uh is a feat for him i don't think he's gonna have a problem anymore it's been a while since he's had any weight issues it's been a while since he's had any other issues that folks like to throw around but it's cool he's you know. been in camp for 10 months 10 months <laughs> he's gonna hurt somebody dog no. he's gonna hurt somebody friend he, he's he's y'all boy gonna be stretched out yeah, I know what y'all saying. I know what y'all saying. She know what y'all saying. But what we saying is a 10-month camp. You know what I'm saying? Not all of it was a fat camp. If We got to just be frank and clear. Because David is already in shape. <laughs> so just a little bit. He might not have been too far off of weight. But no. for him to have still been in the gym for 10 months camping, Best of luck to him. All I know is I just really want him to shine. That, that's that's all I know. Because I want all you hating at oof. Let me not. I'm just not. I, I'll blast. I, I, I'll go off later when it's closer to the fight. But I just find it mildly interesting. And, and, and very mildly interesting that he asked for a larger ring and um you know he wanted these concessions that he thought David he would not fucking run he finna run like i run the food when i'm on a diet break he finna run like mason run to me when he ain't seen me in two days he gonna run like bo mac run to snacks Fast, swift, very much side to side, out of the way. I'm fixing to back pedal, front pedal, side step, spin around, drop it down, roll around, all that. He needed that space. He wasn't going to get caught up how he did with Canelo. What the fuck? Absolutely not. I need some room to run. Run on, young player. <laughs> run on. Anthony Durrell is not David Benavidez. It's not. It's not. What's up, Bo Deezy, the late bloomer? He asks, he says, I have Benavidez winning, but what if Plant wins? He just a better fucking man that night. Does that mean David needs to stop fighting? Absolutely the fuck not. There's plenty of people for him to beat up. If Plant wins, then congratulations to him. I think Plant is a great fight. I think he's a really good boxer. I really do. He has the potential to win the fight. I'm not even going to sit up here and play like it's just, you know, not an even matchup. It's a great matchup because they are two completely different styles, completely different styles. So it's a wonderful matchup. And he can possibly win. I know he's got the new trainer, bread man, got him sitting down on his bunches, all that. I hear y'all. I get that. I hear I hear it all. I just happen to believe it won't be enough for David Benavidez. I just that's just what I think. But who knows? Do you think you can run a mile and then fight for 12 rounds after you ran a mile real fast? Or do you think you can run and fight a mile? Can you run and fight a mile? Because it take people 15 minutes to run a mile if you fast. So two miles, can you fight for two miles and run and not get tired? I'm not a professional, so maybe he can, friend. Bro, that gas tank got COVID. It need a gas treatment. It got some bad gas. Because right by round eight, that motherfucker started putting. And then by round 11, we seen what happened with Canelo in 11, so I mean... If he make it to 11. Need a treatment. If he make it to 11, because David got so bold, he said he's knocking his ass out in six. That's what he's saying. That's what, he, that what he's saying. Uh, Karen did, but Caleb ain't Karen. Okay. Uh, and Karen still lost. Mm -hmm. Um, 
Mr. Ma, how you doing, Mr. Ma? He says, I've seen the dude's gas in several fights. I've seen the dude gas in several fights. Larry Wade is not helping the dude, in my opinion. Hey, Mr. Ma, I'm so glad you said that. I'm so glad you said that because people love Larry Wade. Like they love him. He is the strength conditioning dude. And I ain't taking nothing away from Larry Wade. He might be that guy. I know he worked with Sean Porter, had Sean in great shape for when he fought Errol. I got all of that. But I got to agree with you on that. Doesn't seem as if whatever he's doing with Caleb is helping his gas tank. I don't know. Friend, what do you think? Do you see any improvement? <laughs> Improve no what? What? <laughs> Tell me. You know what? They call in the man power plant. Okay? They're calling the man power plant because he knocked out Anthony Durrell. I know an old bitch I can knock out right now. I ain't, we ain't even got to go 11 rounds. I probably get out of there and within the first five minutes. But the point of the matter is, <laughs> she oh, she ain't gonna get out there and work with me how she would if she were about 10 years younger. Okay, he knocked out a man that wanted to retire, he wanted to quit. So, for y'all to be calling this man power plant. Power, power plant is so weird. So lame. It, it, it's, it's, I, I, I don't want to call nobody lame. I, you know, I tend to hurt people's feelings. Lame. My friend is going to hurt y'all's feelings tonight. Not me. I just don't feel and what they say, in my opinion. In my opinion. He, he ain't got it like that. Power plant is a, a solid name. You got to get at that tank or somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody that's actually knocking somebody out. You know what I'm saying? Not Anthony Durrell. So I, I ain't going to take I ain't going to steal that man's thunder. He has a newfound power, power plant, power no, point. No. He caught him with a lucky counter, friend. It was planned. He, he ran him into that. He set him up for that. Don't do that to that man. He's a great boxer friend. That was, he'd been working on that. Yeah. 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 We're going to go with what you said. We're we going to go with that. Mystic. You know what, for real though, because I do not want to take anything away from Caleb Plant. I really do like him. I know you don't like Caleb, but I like Caleb. I really do. I just don't think he can be David, but we shall see. And if he does, y'all meet me back here because I, I will definitely stand corrected. Um. But I just don't think he's going to be able to do it. I'm sorry. I don't. Now, is there anything else you want to tell the people or talk to the people about that press conference? Absolutely not. I mean, other than uh, David's camp got some explaining to do. And I'm going to ask some questions. You know, I like asking people and getting in their business. Where's the Negroes in your family, sir? <sighs> he might not know where they are, but I'm assuming they on the Ecuadorian side somewhere. I need to see. He might not know. I want him to. I want him to go and swab them cheeks. Send that shit right on in to ancestry.com. He might not know where they at though. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's more than. That's more than that, friend. That, I, mean, I mean, listen. It's yeah. black Ecuadorians. It's black I'm Dominicans. Sure. It's black. It's black people everywhere. I so mean, we can visually see it, but it don't mean he know where they at. I want him to go swab them cheeks. I want to know where the Negro is in his family. Somebody lied. I, I see the He just don't know. I'm nosy. I need to know. I want to know. I want to know where they went and hit that lady. They hit that lady off somewhere because no, 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 no. No, no, no. That, uh, that brother don't look like that. Jose don't look like that. Friend, you cannot uh -huh. do that. Uh -uh. You cannot be that way. Jose <laughs> don't look like that. Jose look like Jose. Genetics are a true. Yeah, I know. Black genetics funny are funny thing. Uh -huh. Our genetics are because we can breed it. They we are. Breed anything. They are. 
So where's that lady? That's what I'm saying. He might not know where she is. All right, well, somebody, I need to know. I want to see a picture of her. I looked at that hair frame. I hate y'all. I swear I hate y'all. That hair hate let y'all. me know. I hate y'all. I that hate hair y'all. let me know. I hate yeah, well, I tell you, I hate y'all. I hate y'all. I hate y'all. Why? I stand y'all. Okay, that man. man might not know. He don't Go know. swab them. David, I know you watch this show. Go swab them cheeks. And when you come back on this show, we're going to discuss this because I want to know where y'all hit that lady. Your daddy knows something he ain't tell you. Why she got to be hidden? Why? Because I ain't never seen her. I can't stand y'all. I can't. I can't I can't never seen this. I need to see her up close. I cannot. I can't stand y'all. Y'all make. She might look like you, friend. And if she do, then what? Nothing. Exactly. I, I, I want to see more of her if she do. But what she? What if she not here? What if that was his yeah, great no. great great grand? No, 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 no. That hair. Mm mm. That's one away. She still. No, it's like, not. I'm telling you right. I look. I look at my boy's hair. That's one away. That's one way. She I still hate y'all. I swear I hate I'm y'all. Asking. I can't stand. I hate yeah. I'm asking. I'm asking some questions. Okay, well, come on. We can go to the next thing now because now my mind is made up to want to know. That ain't none of your business. Why? I'm nosy. Oh, and as a boxing reporter, news media lady, I'm is that what you are? I feel like it's my business to know these things. I like to talk about, I like science and backgrounds and people's stuff. It's what I do. I need to know. Just for my own personal sake. But now I'm the Mexican, don't you? Make it up here and cuss you out this evening. Now I know I'm going to be trying to take up for you. Don't you do that. Because you know how I feel about them Tolacons. You know how I feel about that. I was really upset about that. Don't you do that. Don't you come up here and do that. Don't you do that. <laughs> don't 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 you do that. Don't you come up here and do that. Don't don't do that. Because I'm gonna be mad at you. Okay. Don't okay. We gonna move on. Yeah. Phenomenal Mexican. Oh, we have a we have a winner. Arnold Barboza Jr. He beat Pedraza. You guys he beat him. He was he, down. It went to 10 and he got the decision. Boy, yes, he he yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Okay, so listen, we're going to keep on rolling. And friend, you know what I can't wait? That undercard. Um, and we're going to leave off the, that undercard on that fight. And y'all trying to tell me uh, PBC and Showtime? Okay, whatever. That undercard on that fight is 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 hot. Rails coming off a loss. Chris Colbert is coming off a loss. They both have major things to prove. And they are getting in the ring with each other. I cannot wait. That fight might be better than the doggone main event. I don't know. But I'm very excited. But we're going to move along. Speaking of the PBC, you know it's a lot of speculation going on. But this is another week that we've gone. And we have yet to hear any kind of fight announcement from or about Errol Spence Jr., all we've heard is speculation. Oh, he's going to fight Keith Thurman at 154. Who said that? Friend, why are they saying that? I told you. Somebody like Ray Jackson then made a tweet. <laughs> and it ended up on ESPN. They don't do no research into their reporting. They just be reporting stuff and don't be knowing. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and see. That's all I can do is wait and see. But I know you thinking something that we not thinking. What is you thinking? I'm thinking EJ 154. Sebastian Fundora. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking EJ 154. Sebastian Fundora. I may be wrong, but something in my Negro spirit, something in my gut is telling me that EJ is tired of being at 147. He knows that Bud is being a business. 
and he's he's over it. I think he's ready to move to 154. I believe him when he says he doesn't take tune-up fights. Fundora doesn't have a fight date. What better way to kick the doors open at 154? I've been calling for EJ to, you know, deal with a young pup. We know it's not going to be Boots. So why not Sebastian? Sebastian said he wanted to smoke. They both at PBC. Ain't number space and opportunity. What you think, friend? How you feel about that? Well, a whole lot of body and ribs for him to bust on and break. I mean, it it, it could it could fit, friend. It could fit because I don't think Sebastian has a fight right now. He doesn't. I know he was in the speculation. I think the rankings changed or something like that. But I don't think he has a fight. I ain't heard shit from Keith. Where where did Keith go? Keith just then disappeared and too radio silent. And he probably somewhere playing that damn flute. Clarinet. Is it clarinet or is it a flute? It's a flute. Don't do my clarinet like that. It's a flute. It's the flute. It's the flute. He just, yeah, he probably fought in peace and love within himself. Isn't that something? How he just disappeared like that? Yeah. One week we saw him in the gym preparing for something. And then all of a sudden he was gone. We ain't heard, seen nothing from him. Nothing. Just radio silence. Where you at, Keith? Where are you? Oh, Eric? yeah, he wasn't the one recording Kale Brooks snorting that cocaine. <sighs> you so wrong. You so wrong. So wrong. So wrong. Friend, we 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 touched on this a little bit, I believe, on Sunday. But since we touched on it, you know, Kel has come out and apologized to his fans and uh, his family and whatnot. And you're on mute. I wish the fuck I would. I don't even fuck with no goddamn cocaine, but apologizing. To a bunch of motherfuckers I don't know? Absolutely the fuck not. You'd be better off pulling my toenails off one by one. Just rip them bitches off. No medicine, no pain, nothing. Just, just rip them. Pull them off. Why the fuck you apologize? Oh, fuck these people. If you snort cocaine, Kale, snort your lines. Don't do it in front of them fucking kids. Wipe the table up when you're done. Then they posted that fucking video of his kids coming to see him. I felt so bad. I was like, oh, I didn't see that. This was after the fact? Girl, they posted a video and the kids came to see him and he was hugging the kids at the door. Oh my God, I missed you so much. I was like, for some cocaine? I can see if this nigga, you, what's that drug that people be taking and they be bent all back and shit? What is it? Somebody, one of you fucking drug addicts know. Tell me what the fuck them shits them people be taking and they be bent all back and shit. Y'all know what I be talking about. What the fuck is that? Oh, I don't Why know. Why the fuck would I go and do that shit? I'm not a pilot. Liv Heron. Thank you, Miss Boss, Boss Red. Now, if the young man was bent backwards, then, you know, he might have a little apologizing to do. This is life. If Kale want to... Listen. I got a whole lot of opinion about Mr. Brooke. He already sitting at that sassy table. I was surprised to see them kids show up. Ma'am, don't, please. I'm just saying. Yeah, we... Yeah, well, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. well, yeah. well yeah. I can't help what I see. I can't help what I see. No. Okay. Well, I, I'm sorry. I was surprised as fuck when I seen the kids show up at that door. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was like, did he die? 
What happened? Friend, that's embarrassing for his family. That That's why he apologized. You know what? There's a whole lot of shit if my family find out. But that's the thing. And what? You would apologize to I me. I don't know the fuck out. Yo, you know well, you, probably you, you probably would. Oh, you the fucking better way. Yeah, well, you probably would. But r- regular people, regular folks, you know, with hearts and stuff like that, ten men. Um, regular people would you? Well, because it was it was posted all over every everywhere that's embarrassing for your children i don't give a fuck you know what it's a whole lot of people especially now us generation can't there's a whole lot of shit that we did back in the day that our kids i'm not apologizing for because guess what i was young the fuck like you i'm living hey only got one life i'm here for a good time not a long time you don't like it Kiss my ass. But Kel ain't young though, friend. I don't get and he he here for a good time, apparently. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, apparently. I'm just saying, do if that's what you do, Kel, okay. I don't encourage nobody to be sniffing no lines because Rick James told y'all a long time ago that cocaine is a hell of a drug. So I don't encourage that for nobody. But if that's your thing and that's what you do. It, it don't be on camera doing it. Like don't don't let nobody film you doing that. And don't, even if you do, don't do that. You don't don't bring your kids to see you two days later and it's still cocaine residue on that fucking table. Oh God. Oh Lord. Jay Allen. Jay Allen says shout out to the baddest duo out there, Queens of the Ring. Thank you so much, Jay Allen. Thank you, man. It's just a bad. It's just, I, I hope he doesn't have a problem. But see, when you that bodacious and you do it on camera proudly like that, that kind of, that I kind of feel like you might have a little bit of a problem. That let me know you didn't did the shit before. Yes. More exactly with them fucking kids in the house. Them same kids that came to see you after you were snorting them lines on them table. Listen, we don't have, y'all ain't got to put the movie script on for us. We know dysfunction when we see it. And bringing them kids two days later after this man didn't been publicly snorting cocaine is a goddamn CPS problem to me. Because why the fuck is, why are we doing this? Why are you bringing these kids over here knowingly this man is on drugs? Who filmed that? I Who put it out? Fucking no call CPS. Well, maybe they were just coming to visit, friend. And maybe that's why. Listen, no, no, no. You keep your kids away from crackheads, friend. You tell your kids all the time, say no to drugs. Listen, Whitney told you crack is wet. That was not crack. That was cocaine. That was cocaine. Well, there is a difference. Your children away from cocaine addicts. Because they might wake to get really, really high and then go make a bottle with cocaine utensils because you know you keep your kids away from people that do shit like that i'm sorry like baby okay yeah i i I wasn't trying to talk about kale i didn't i don't know how did we get there how do we get there oh man so how many of y'all in the chat got double charge uh from blk for that um Terrence Crawford fight slash AB fight. How many of y'all in the chat, if y'all actually bought it? How many of y'all actually bought it and got double charged this week for it? Mr. Mont, back up in our super chat. He says something else was crumpled up in that block. I don't know. No, no. I don't know. No, no, no. I don't know. So did you guys get double charged? No, no. Good for you. Good for you. Because there have been a couple of people, apparently, who purchased the Terrence Crawford fight that got charged again this month. I don't know if they didn't read the fine print. I don't know if the fine print was non-existent. Um, not sure what happened. But apparently, a couple of folks were double charged or charged again they have a reoccurring fee going to be okay prime um 
not cool. Because now you done pissed folks off. And it's really not cool because now folks ain't going to want to buy that Adrian Bronner fight because they don't know if they're going to be charged down the line for it. Friend, what the hell is going on over there at BLK Brian? Scandal. Joanne the Scammers. What in, I would, see, I'm glad I didn't buy that shit. Uh, I'm glad that I didn't pay for that shit for nobody. Cause no, I would have woke up and that money would have been gone out of my account and I would have been doing everything in my power to get rid of BLK Prime. I think it's messed up though. You know, like from a business standpoint, for real, like it's bad business and it's bad. Bi I feel not that I feel bad, but I do kind of feel bad because. AB got this fight coming up that I really don't think is going to happen anyway, but he got this fight coming up. And with all of that happening to people, like Gun told him, he said he got hit up. Um, you know, that's going to deter people from buying his fight if they wanted to. Because, you know, it's just. You know who y'all motherfucking blame? Blame Bud. Because BLK Prime been having fights. Some A lot of them got canceled. They had a fight on their little app before. But wasn't nobody getting triple charged for them $7 fights they was throwing. Blame your boy. Go out and support the scammer. And see what the goddamn scammer got y'all? Scammer got y'all tied up with y'all cards and shit on this goddamn BLK Prime app. It's just not a good look. I, I don't like that for them. Broke I lives killing. That's what, that's what broke lives killing. Friend, that's so not nice. Back alley boxing. Back alley boxing. Back alley boxing. Mr. My back up in here, he says they double charge to get the numbers up for six to 60K. Ooh. Did we ever get an announcement, an official announce, an official hey. announcement of Bud's numbers? Yeah, good luck. You're gonna be waiting for them numbers probably until your next couple of birthdays. That shit ain't never gonna get released. Hell, we sell more of them uh super chats here that he sold goddamn pay-per-views. Friend, don't do don't 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 what don't do that man like that. We get more super chats than he got pay per views by. You know what? You know another thing that that just causes me to pause and say about that whole thing. If it was such a lucrative deal, if it was such a match made in heaven, why is Terrence Budrick Dwayne Crawford over at Golden Boy canoodling? What's, what is going on with that? What What is going on with don't that? Don't tell me, Larry Lopez, don't Bud bash. And I was giving Bud credit last week. I'm not bashing no Bud. I said blame Bud for the BLK Prime scandal. Because if y'all wouldn't have been buying the Budrick fight, people wouldn't have been double and triple, quadruple charged. But... That's neither here or there. I mean, what'd you ask me? Because I haven't read that goddamn question. I told you to keep your behind I, up. And I, know. I know. And I'll be losing my train. I'm I'm putting it down because okay, let me let me get this super chat. No yeah. complaints about the zone scamming since day one. Oh, hmm. have they been taking your money inadvertently? Apparently. The zone? Yeah. Wow. I would like some of this free money that all of y'all got, you know what I'm saying? Since it's just not a big thing to be scammed. If you like to be scammed, I have a house in Galveston that I would like to buy you. A very nice beachfront property. <laughs> I would like to sell you if you don't mind being scammed. Once you get there, though, don't say nothing. Don't call me because at that point, it's your property. But I got something for you. It's on the beach. You know that's my favorite line. I'm on the beach. Anyway, uh, friend, what do you think about Bud over there at um, Golden Boy? Good for him. 
do whatever you need to do to make you happy. And in my mind, like I said last week, I think Budrick went to Golden Boy to get some help to make the spin spike. I know everybody don't think that. I think that. I think he went there to get some help. I'm giving Bud the benefit of the doubt. Hmm. I'm going to be optimistic. I want to believe that Bud wants this fight. Hmm. So my opinion has not changed from Friday. I still think that he went to Golden Boy when the rumor before this picture dropped. I still think he went there to get help to make the spin fight. They're make tape versus Ryan. Did they? What's the hold up with that? Their that fight is in the making, friend. Why come them contracts ain't been signed yet? What's the hold up? What what Ryan does on his time, Tank has fulfilled his part. Well, Ryan is trying to figure out what the problem, what the hold up is. This is what I'm hearing. He don't know what the hold up is. Well, then uh, somebody need to go take an eight ball in there to Oscar and let him do his thing. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Apparently, everybody on it. Oh, shit. We need to change the name of this show to Cocaine. No, we are not. We are absolutely not. No? No. No Cocaine Chronicles here. No. No. We have a super chat from Big Ray. Big Ray says, Boxiana, is Bud a new addition to the Freaky Fighters? No. I'm being, I know. Bud is himself. Not yet. No. Bud is whatever. He, he He's a beautiful butterfly. Whatever y'all want Bud to be, Bud is that. I, I'm done. Because every time I say something about Bud, y'all go and y'all call me a Bud hater. All I do is talk shit about Bud. Bye. -bye. Okay. I'm done with the Bud bashing. Okay, no more Bud bashing. Bud can be whatever y'all want Bud to be. Okay. Support, but I know what he don't want to do. Okay. We'll leave it right there then. We'll no, wait. I got more. I know what he don't want to do. I got to tell you what he don't want to do. He don't want to run up to them black air forces. Sorry. Yeah, I sent you a little old clip that I saw on Errol Spence Jr.'s um, stories on Instagram. And I don't know if y'all saw it or not, but I caught it. And I caught a glimpse of some black air force one now he has a fascination he likes them thick ass laces those thick shoe tennis shoe laces i don't know what that is but that's his shit that's his thing he loves them he had them in almost all his tennis shoes he had them thick ass laces so he has some super thick ass laces in his forces but they were still all black forces i'm hoping that's meaning something I'm hoping something is going to get announced very soon, I think. Is that what you got from that, friend? What did you gather from that? I think it's over for another one of you boxing niggas. I do. I mean, when I see those, last time I seen those, I poke Ugas. I still, I still feel bad for that man. I want him to get back in the ring because I know he still want to fight. But I, I still don't think he's ready. It's been a year. It's been a year. He ain't even talk about fighting no more. I ain't even heard Uga say shit about I will be him. Were none of his paragraphs. I, you know, he used to put them paragraphs on Twitter. Like, I ain't seen none of that. Like, it's over with. Mikey. Then Mike, Mikey got back in the ring, what, once after Errol? Maybe twice. No, I think it's twice. I think it was one time. No, he got back twice because he won one and he lost one. And he lost one to somebody we were not expecting him to lose. He lost up here in Frisco, didn't he? I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Cousin said he's definitely ready to knock a person's head off. I agree, cousin. I agree. Yeah. 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 Something is brewing. I don't know what it is, but something is definitely brewing. What's up, Dre's Finest? He says, hey, what's up, ladies, Nick J and Boxiana? I told you earlier, Nick, I would try to stay up and fell asleep. My bad. I woke up to support you, ladies. Much love. Thank you. Thank you so much for getting up. You ain't got to sleep. You Listen, we understand that it's a Friday night and it's a long week, and we would appreciate you watching the replay just as much as we appreciate you in the live. Thank you. Y'all be sure to hit the like button, please, while y'all in here. Please and thank you. 
We really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, friend, um, I feel like something is brewing. I don't know what it is. We're in February. I know he said he was fighting in April. Then he said maybe May. Then, you know, I don't know. We need to hear from you, though, Mr. Spence. We need to hear from you. You know, it's just been a lot of rumors and stuff floating around, like Tank and, and Ryan are fighting. Then there's hold up on the damn contracts. And then we know that Loma and Devin are supposed to be fighting. And then it's, it's hold ups on the contract. Um, what, 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 what is going on here with Loma and Devin? What, what is going on? I don't know what's going on. I, I'm confused about a lot when it comes to this because I know we watched the, the BFTV and Devin said, I'm, go, I'm going to fuck up to 140. I don't give a damn about none of this shit. And then we see Bill say, oh no, he'll be fighting at 135. For the rest of the year. For the rest of the year. Which is really strange to me because Devin's last fight. <laughs> You know what? If we could take something and erase it out of memory, that would be the thing that I got rid of. Probably like either first or second. I hate that fucking video. I hate the picture that they took. I hate how they put that shit on Say Cheese, the Shade Room. They didn't have to do that baby like that. Now, I've been hard on my kid. That's still my boy. God damn it. I was very upset. I do not ever want to see him look like that again. I'm very um, nervous. Nervous is the word. You know, they they ner I'm nervous for Devin. I just don't think it's healthy for him at this point to continue to try to make 135. And I don't I don't think him moving to 140 means he's running from anybody. He's been at 135 for a long time. It's been a lot of folks that maneuvered around fighting him. So for him to go up to 140, to me, is the best move for him. I don't know what they feel like they need to prove to anybody at this point. Staying at 135 after this next fight. Um, I really wasn't a fan of him fighting Loma at 135. I really wasn't, but I understand that he's with top rank and so is Loma and, you know, he has one more fight and I get it. I don't like that. I really don't like that. I really don't like it. But um, we shall see. Um, you know, it's a lot of seesaw going, going on. It's a lot of just people just talking and I, we don't know what the real going to be. We don't, we don't know until the shit happens. We don't know. But if you ask in my opinion, I feel like he needs not fight at 135 no more. No more. No more. I don't want to see it. I don't. I don't want to see it. Friend, do you want to see that? I have opinion. No, I don't want to fucking see the shit. What the fuck you think about Blair Cobb's little funky booty ass retracting his damn statement as fast the way he did? Let me read this super chat. Knockout Kings, thank you so much with the 50 piece. Thank you. Thank you so much. We appreciate you coming through. Now, Blair, uh, them lawyers wasn't playing with you, Blair. And yeah, and that's for all of y'all that be, you know, doing all that talking and, and jaw yapping and all of that good stuff just to hear yourself talking. Y'all better quit playing with these folks and their reputations and their good names out here. Uh, talking about steroids and whatnot. But more than that, how do you feel about Mauricio Suleiman letting Connor Ben's juice and ass come back and be ranked, reinstating him? How do you feel about that, friend? How do you feel about that? If he dies, he fucking dies. I'm so mad about this. I don't like know. He got Cambodian ass hair on his face. He got Cambodian ass hair on his face. And I didn't realize, so I went back and looked. I was like, this, I, you ain't grow no beard, boy. Your face been babied 
for the last five years. Why when you go do that? Why do you go do that? Friend, I can't believe. Like I would not fight him. If I were any boxer, I would not fight him. And if I were made to fight him, if I had to get in the ring with him, I would sue Mauricio Suma. That is attempted. That that that, that that's that, so, I, I don't like that. I don't like it either. But you know what? This is what do we expect? This is the same man that then started a trans division for the trans people to fight. And so maybe they'll have a juice division. All the motherfucking juice heads can get their ass at any weight and just get on there and fight at each other. That sounds like a plan to me. I'm down with that. The juice fest. That That's sounds like a plan. It. That sounds like a plan to me. Because anything other than that is uncivilized. Is he the same person that okayed and allowed um, Oscar Valdez to fight after the T situation? Is he that same person? Like, how are they allowing him to still be a part of boxing and call shots? I don't understand that. Somebody going to have to say something. Like, ain't nobody going to say nothing? Y'all all, all going to just let that fly? I don't... What are we doing here? Juicing is the way of life. Get Juicy J. If you're going to fight his ass, like I told y'all when y'all was talking shit about Canelo, if Canelo is on that shit, you know what you're going into. So you know what you need to do? I don't... I think that's I I just hey. I don't understand how the people are, are 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 just acting like you know there's nothing they can do about this like you know there wasn't an A sample and a B sample that was tainted like fight ain't fur if I, if you own the shit friend and somebody you you finna fight somebody she better be on the shit too. If she ain't on the shit and she get beat up, she just get beat up. Hopefully her corner is strong enough to throw in that towel for her because it is no mercy at this point. That's awful. Do you want your ass whooped or no? Take the fight or no? I just, I, mm -mm. I, it's something about that that don't sit right with my soul. Tell me what you want for me. Tell me what it's got to be. Drew Hill. I'm telling you, yeah, get in there and let them windmill on each other. I don't give a fuck. If you juicing, fight him. He juice too. If he die, he die. But that's not what they gonna do. They finna put that, they put that man back in regular rankings. He ain't finna fight nobody, friend. I wouldn't fight him. I, I wouldn't. wouldn't. He ain't finna fight. And if whoever fight him, trust and believe they own that shit. You well, know who need be. to fight him? Ooh. His sassy running mates. The sass master, the lesbian mafia, him, <laughs> Christopher Lesbian Ubanks. No, ma'am. No. The lesbianator. No. No. Yeah. No. Mr. No. I am to please. <laughs> ah! He is so afraid. I don't like him. I don't he like is him. super sassy. He's going to come and dangle all that meat all over his mouth. No, ma'am. I'm ready for you, Connor. It's going to be Bareback Mountain the second. Okay. Well, boxing, please. But the, um, we have fights tomorrow, guys. Okay. The girls, the females, the ladies. You know, you, you know. The ladies are fighting tomorrow, friend. Are you um are you predicting any upsets? Did you see the weigh-ins today? Listen. That goddamn Alicia Baumgarten. Say, bruh. Hey, I don't know what they over there doing in Tony's gym. Her what? guns were like, nah, man, she ain't never been that cut up before. She's normally ripped. Yeah. Not like that. She owns some other, she body goals. Like she got, yeah. 
she she i don't want to say body goes because i don't really want to be that cut up like that like i want to flex my shit i want to stand in the mirror and and puff my neck up because i want to feel like debo that day but i know how to mask it down and be girly too like well she wasn't looking like that at first she didn't look like that till she started flexing i want to flex on the bitch just like that the summer is coming friend she was like guns and I like my arms, but like I want them to be a little bit more cut. But I, she was like track cut, like track girl ripped up. I was yeah. like, mm. that. She, she finna, look good. Oh, she looks good. Yeah, she finna beat the dog absolute shit out of that other girl. She looked like a damn deer in headlights. I was like, girl, yeah, she finna beat you up, but goddamn, don't don't look so afraid. She did, poor thing. She did. She came out there on her Michaela May shit all red. I was like, oh man, she finna beat your ass, bruh. And she had that same sinister grin on her face, that long ass joker smile, no teachers. Yeah, she she yeah. She I don't play with people like that, friend. One, two things. I'm gonna bust you in the back of the head with brick. Cause yeah. anybody going to a fight smiling. You're gonna have to really, really put some harm on them. Yeah, she she I got Alicia probably by eighth round stoppage. I think she's gonna knock this young lady out. I did. Um, but then there's also an undisputed fight, another undisputed fight, because Alicia's fight is also for undisputed, I believe, at 135, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but Amanda Serrano has a undisputed fight coming up as well. She's the main card. And that fight is at 125 pounds. Now, friend, I felt a little, you know, I feel like some so Amanda is, is really on the decline right now. I don't know if this young lady that she's fighting is gonna have enough to 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 win this fight, but I don't know. I just feel like Amanda is like one fight away from an upset, like a real major upset, like losing to somebody she ain't supposed to lose to. Cause I think she done fought too much. I think it's time for her to go. She got a lot. She's been fighting a long time. How you feel about it? Man, she looked great though. Amanda looked great at 125. How what you think about this fight? You talking about one fight away from getting stopped. She one fight away from being John James Tony. This speech is a little fucked up. I ain't wanna say nothing, but since we here now, I mean we gotta discuss it. She needs to stop. You've been fighting boys. You've been fighting girls. You've been fighting everybody in between. It's been a long time. You are eighth division. I don't know. I don't think a lot of people don't realize like how many divisions that is for a woman to be that small. Women, women boxers are small. Shit loaded them. She had to fight through them bitches to get to where she at. She didn't took a bunch of big hits. One fight away from James Tony. I want her to stop. This shit need to be done. This should be it. But you know what the crazy thing is? They talking about her and Katie Taylor again. Katie Taylor and that thick ass neck <sighs> gonna knock her the fuck out this time. That neck kept taking Katie Taylor in the fight. I told y'all that. Didn't nobody believe me until they went back and watched that fight, friend, and they seen how thick that fucking neck was. She got a thick white Snickers right there on her throat they had it got veins in it and everything it's just swole like i ain't never seen a throat so fucking big before on a lady like it's just she had a football neck you know how men have football necks she got one of them she be doing that exercise where she got to do this she does that shit with the big weights i can't say you lie because it is thick it go out like that dude's on that um like that black dude on that um on his mug shot with the super thick neck. It ain't quite that thick, but it is thick. I follow a chick on TikTok and she like flex her neck muscles up and be doing like weird shit with her. Like she weird as shit. She got that kind of neck. Like she got this shit right here. I ain't got that yet. I don't want that. I don't want that either. She moving like, my neck and my neck don't look like my neck. It look like a Snickers. No, I don't. I don't want no parts of that. I don't want no parts of that. No, I don't want no parts of that. I don't want no fucking neck like that. 
You think Amanda win in that fight tomorrow? Uh, you know, hey, I don't know. At this point, hopefully she'll get knocked out because she needs to sit down somewhere. Damn, friend, I don't want her to get knocked out, though. Insane. But you know what? That may be the only thing that make her rethink this situation because I think Amanda is one of those people who's going to fight and fight and fight and fight until she cannot fight anymore. And I don't want that for her. I don't. Somebody need to tap her. It's time. It's time. It's It's been time. It was time that Katie Taylor beat her up the first time. That neck, that neck kept her in the fight. That neck is thick. Well, good luck, Amanda. Good luck, um, Alicia. And, and to their opponents, good luck as well. I want to see some really good female fights tomorrow. Um, you know, if they shine, it shines a light on women's boxing. And, and you know, I, I'm hoping that happens for both of them tomorrow. Um, friend, I know you're gone, but is there anything else you want to say to the good people before we get out of here so they can go ahead and watch this? That's why I'm turning this damn camera off. I don't know what the hell going on. My allergies, I have been, oh, it's cool. No. Um, thank y'all um, for coming through, hanging out. Of course, we're going to be back on Sunday because we got to go and talk about all these fights. We'll talk about tonight's fight on Sunday. Um, if you here, hit the like button, subscribe, share this shit to your friends because we funny and we just trying to glow up. So help us with our glow up. We're going to our what? Our next big thing is what? 3K? So we we're just trying to reach 3K, y'all. Y'all can get us the 3K. I mean, we worth the 3K for sure. So our next goal is 3K. Hit the like button, share all that shit with your friends, and we'll see y'all back here on Sunday. We'll see y'all back on Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm about to take me some Tylenol. My head is banging. I know y'all see me squinting. Yeah, your girl is in pain. I love y'all, though. So y'all have a great night. Enjoy your weekend. Hopefully, um, the upper part of Texas is melting. You know, y'all been frozen up there for a while. So hopefully you're getting a little relief. And um, we'll see y'all back here on Sunday. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Peace.